So uh, we're going to move a little bit up in the abdomen. I'm going to discuss uh, for the next uh, 40 minutes liver cancer, primary liver cancer. So uh, I would like to start with uh, a couple of cases to show, to illustrate the role of uh, MRI uh, in this population. Uh, so this is um, a case we had a few years back uh, with uh, HCV cirrhosis and a CT from the outside. Uh, and you can see uh, these are um, arterial phase images. You can see really very complex appearance of the uh, liver uh, with multiple ill-defined you know, areas of enhancement, maybe a lesion here. Um, this was really hard to interpret uh, based on, you know, the CT. So we went on and did an MRI. Um, this is already in an outer phase. It's a problem solver sometimes. Uh, in about 5% of cases, you're going to see fat in lesions. So that's uh, important for diagnosis. And you can see here in an outer phase shows that lesion in segment 4 has intravoxel fat. There's another one lower down in the same segment with also intravoxel fat. That's there you go already too. Uh, fat-containing HCCs uh, are likely here in the context of cirrhosis, of course. Um, when you look at the enhancement, uh, we were able to diagnose clearly three HCCs. This is using extracellular uh, gallium contrast. Uh, you can see um, this is AP, arterial phase, and this is part of venous phase, and corresponding images. So first lesion is here. This one contained fat, had enhancement and washout. This one, same thing, enhancement, washout, and capsule. And another one in segment four, which was a little more difficult because it was more kind of infiltrative, but the fact that it had fat in, uh, in it will also help delineate the lesion. So all the rest was noise, basically. So, and the patient can be considered for a transplant because they're within Milan criteria, three lesions less than three CM. This is uh, another case, a uh, patient who had uh, resection uh, for HEC in the past and had rising AFP, CT was negative. Uh, I'm not showing the whole CT, but I'm showing the area of interest, nothing much seen, and we did an MRI, uh, and you can see clearly a recurrent HCC uh, in the, um, near the hepatectomy margin with enhancement uh, and washout and also high point intensity on a delayed uh, hepatobiliary phase. This is using uh, garoxetate uh, disodium. So a little bit, a few words about the incidence of HCC. Uh, uh, of course, there is very variability uh, worldwide. Uh, a lot of cases are in red areas where the incidence can be up to 100 to 116 per 100,000, which is really enormous for men. Uh, of course, we know that men are more likely to have HCC than women. And you can see uh, China, Mongolia, Southeast Asia, Japan, Korea, very high incidence. Uh, West Africa, uh, some countries in also Central America have high incidence. So um, the U.S. is intermediate incidence, overall about 800,000, 400,000 uh, in men. Uh, and certain areas in the U.S. actually have higher incidence uh, in urban centers, like in New York City. The incidence can go up to 18 to 20, actually, per 100,000 uh, in certain neighborhoods, like, you know, the Bronx or Queens or, uh, or Harlem. Um, 